order. Um, if everyone would join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. <coughs> The United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> this is a special call meeting. We'll have our regular meeting on the first Wednesday of the month, which would be um, September, September 5th, I think. <laughs> I should have looked at that before I brought it up. And I, I yes. don't see anyone for public comment. I guess the item for discussion today is the Gold Star Families Monument. And um, Colonel Young, are you are you ready to talk to us about that? <laughs> they mean to get you with your notebook open. Okay. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Um, thank you for um, making time to come back um, for an un... Um, I guess it would be a, a not normally scheduled Memorial Island meeting. Uh, and um, first of all, um, I wanted to explain um, the rationale for asking uh, for this opportunity to uh, speak with you. Um, when we um, last talked about the Gold Star Grove, um, you had approved the concept of it, and um, I thought we were uh, tracking as we should be uh, uh, to make that happen uh, in conjunction with the centennial celebration in November. Um, and uh, the next item to be uh, uh, clarified in order to come back to you and, and to move the project forward was uh, to have a, uh, an estimate of the cost related to that and some more specificity. So um, I have received that and, um, and then I also <laughs> Looked at the looked at the calendar and realized that if we didn't um, come together and have the opportunity to recommend uh, to the city council uh, approval for this, then the opportunity to have the plaques fabricated um, in the foundry up in Pennsylvania uh, in uh, in enough time to have it for the 10th of November would be very unlikely. So again, I, I apologize for taking you guys out of your your normal schedules um, but I thought it was warranted by the fact that I think this this project itself is something of, of tremendous value to the community so um, having said that um, um, I requested uh, went to um, uh, Mr. Falls and um, uh, gave him uh, the um, the, um, the plaque description um, that uh, we had for the Gold Star family now this is a uh, this is a 12 by 12 size plaque okay and it would have the same wording that I presented last time except in, instead of a rectangular format it's a 12 by 12 which would be square um, last week I had the opportunity to go out onto the island and I gave it a lot of thought in regards to the recommendations that you had to place it in a location of um, um, importance one which would call attention to to the uh, um, uh, project and um Fortunately, we already have a location that's there. The pedestal that says for heroes all um, is right there as you enter the, the square uh, for uh, the Cenotaph Square. And this is a, this is a picture of the uh, heroes all um, pedestal. And what uh, I'm suggesting to you and recommending to you is that on the face of that um, pedestal uh, would be an appropriate location. Um, for two reasons. First reason, it's, it's a um, predominant location as you go into the Cenotaph Square. And the uh, grove speaks to the Cenotaphs. So as you, as you read of the heroes and the Cenotaph nameplates and the markers that are honored for residents of Indian River County, this speaks to the grove on either side of it and the honor that's being recognized for the Gold Star families um, who've lost loved ones. Um, so um, that would be my first recommendation to you. Um, my understanding is that the cost of the bronze 
plaque that would be uh, placed there and it would be uh, comparable in your mind's eye to the um, Pearl, uh, Pearl Harbor survivors um, pedestal that's there that has the names on the front of it and in lieu of the logo for uh, the um, Pearl Harbor survivors you would have this dedication uh, for the uh, Gold Star Grove um, but um, that is the recommendation for the permanent plaque that would uh, denote to everybody that we have dedicated the trees that were uh, donated to the island um, in honor of the families. Now, the second part of it was the temporary plaques. Okay, the temporary plaques um, were uh, the ones that would be located by each one of the trees on a wooden pedestal, and then as they are weathered, they would be um, replaced or at the discretion of the Gold Star Moms, uh, they could be retained if there was nobody else that, that wanted to have that uh, recognition at the time. But um, this small plaque is uh, seven by five, and um, the total cost associated with this um, is twenty twenty two hundred dollars and if if the first recommendation that I have for uh, the location of the large plaque wasn't um, something to your um, um, uh, preference the other alternative would be on the other side of the entrance to the Cenotaph Square um, which as you can see this is the current location for the uh, Heroes All pedestal it would merely be um, to the eastern side of that and then the pedestal would be there and then the large uh, dedicatory plaque would be on the top of that my thinking is for cohesion, it would be simpler to go from one uh, one pedestal from top to bottom, but you know that's up to y'all. So. Do you know the size um, of the heroes all, uh, Tony? Is, is that twelve by twelve also? The um, actual plaque itself. Uh, I, I don't know if the close to that. I'm not 100 percent sure. Yeah, it's and it's roughly. So I mean. It, it, it's it proportionally, would, it would, yeah. That's what I'm, exactly what I was getting at, right? Yeah. It shouldn't be bigger than the right. other, no. or no, the, wider the, than the, 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 the... My thinking was potentially a larger one, but I think the wording that's here says it, okay? The grove of trees that flanks the cenotaphs is dedicated in honor of the Gold Star families who've, who have sacrificed loved ones in support of our country. We are forever thankful. And I think that says it. And I'm going to give this to you so you can the black lines are 12 by 12 for for the uh, the large one and then this is the um, uh, five, seven by five I believe uh, seven by five for the temporary ones well, I certainly like the idea, and in fact, those families have sacrificed more than most of us in going through all of that. But it seems like that this should should be, uh, you know, if the size of the heroes all, this shouldn't be bigger than than that. I think, right. or not wider than right. that. That length depends yeah. on the amount of wording. Uh, and that was my concern. Yeah, yes, and sure. and this right. this this is proportionally something I believe would uh, would work, um, and I think it's. Um, Something special. Yeah, is this the same company that does our sonotaphs? I believe so. Okay. Don, would you like to talk anything in regards to the um, the, the proposal? <laughs> okay. Okay. I have a couple. Or, I'm sorry. Hi. Yeah. The the other part of the equation. Um, is uh, the individuals that um, um, are recommended by the Gold Star families. And right now, um, the recommendations that I have from the Gold Star family um, was First Sergeant Collins, United States Army. He was killed in Normandy, France, in the D-Day invasion on 6 June 44. So you have a, you have a uh, World War I individual. You have uh, Staff Sergeant Cannon, uh, United States Marine Corps. Um, he is the husband of, oh my gosh, <laughs> Millie. Um, 
and she uh, related to me he died in service of a heart attack at the Marine base and I can't pull up the uh, time frame from, I believe it's in the 80s but again um, another uh, service member died in service the third was Sergeant First Class Ferguson, the United States Army, and you all know uh, Sergeant Ferguson. Ashley's his daughter, and he was killed as he was blocking the entranceway at Fort Hood for the deranged individual, and he died in uh, 2nd of April in 2014 at Hood. Um, the fourth is Corporal Cridlow, United States Army, and Dale Cridlow is Michelle's son, and he died in Afghanistan the 7th of November in 2010. Um, the fifth is Lieutenant Colonel McLeod, United States Marine Corps. Um, and the, I, I will share with you, going and looking at the um, accounts of these men, um, it makes you again appreciate the the uh, the sacrifice that the families have made and what these men have made. Um, Colonel McLeod um, died when his aircraft, uh, a Marine helicopter uh, with ten people aboard, uh, malfunctioned, went into a lake. Three of them were lost, and the other ones survived. Um, and that was in uh, 2006, the third of December. Um, the number six individual that's recommended is Private Olinger, United States Army, and he was a Vietnam veteran, killed the 19th of November, 1966, so right at the beginning of the war time frame. Um, I will double, I have spoken with um, uh, the um, mother of the um, a Navy recommendation here, and as it's turning out, uh, his name is uh, Edward uh, Reynolds, and Edward uh, graduated from Vero Beach High School, and um, um, he was, his mother said he was not uh, brought to the attention of us because at the time he was ineligible because we changed the uh, requirements from in combat to in service three years ago. So at this time, um, he would be eligible for Cenotaph. So um, I'll have to get back with um, the family and, and, and um, Michelle Dale to see if that's something they want to pursue. Okay. And then, so, unfortunately, uh, Clement, uh, the one that we lost just John, a just little bit ago. Last night. Right. right, and, and, and um, Jonathan Clement, mm -hmm. um, I've um, spoken with... Um, um, Mr. Cady and, and uh, Mr. Zickert, and uh, they've indicated to the family that once the dust settles, that that will come forward. So um, at this point, it was something that we didn't feel uh, appropriate. Yeah. For some clarification, uh, by the way, two of our members asked to be excused, uh, Sylvester McIntosh and Mrs. Lyon. But um, so the uh, we we have changed. Uh, originally, the Memorial Island was uh, was dedicated to those that died in the service of our country, and there were. Uh, uh, in combat. Died in combat. Right. Now it's no longer the case, but uh, uh, now it was if they just died in the service of our country. Right. But Gold Star uh, families are. Those are local families that did not have men and women that originated from Vero Beach. But but I mean to be a, a Gold. Uh, I don't know. To, it's not something you want to be. But Gold Star families are uh, families of those that died in combat, not in a training accident. Is that is that correct? For Gold Star? No, um, I, Gold Star families are just families that have lost uh, service members in, in service. That's the definition of it? I've never, I, it's, it's a good point because I've never thought about that myself. No, Blue, yeah, Blue yeah. Star families are those that, ha, that are serving mm -hmm. and right. Gold Star that have died. And it was more just curiosity. I don't yeah. think it really affects yeah. what we're doing. That's my right. understanding. I mean, uh, yeah, the, the, as far as I know, that they just died in service. Okay. And then the, um, who's going to pay the cost of the 2200 Is that? Uh, okay. Uh, At this time, I would ask that you um, request that the, the city of Vero Beach um, um, set aside up to $2,500. My belief is, in speaking with the veteran organizations, um, the American Legion Post 39 is supportive of this. Um, they wanted um, the um, 
um, opportunity to look at the uh, expense and I have not had the chance to get back with them. Mm -hmm. And then secondly, um, my understanding in discussion with um, um, Colonel Coons, he was supportive of the idea. So I don't expect that the city will have to pay, but I think it's appropriate that we ask them to set that money aside if for some reason sponsors are not um, uh, willing to cover the cost or, or so. In the past, uh, organizations had paid for, the Vietnam guys paid for theirs and the Korean guys and so I, I mean, you know, I'm again, sure that's, that's, for, that's a, but, yeah, at uh, your discretion. Just, I mean, you know, the, the, mm -hmm. the council has money that they've used to set mm -hmm. aside for the cenotaphs. Uh, you know, that's yes, up, up to y'all. And of course, we would accept donations for those that think it's a worthy yes. cause to continue right. that and other things. Right. Um, and, and it's a good idea to have it by Veterans Day too. That would be a, a well. What I would suggest, and 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 I've, uh, I think it'd be um, appropriate and also um, helpful uh, for us as a group um, for you to go ahead and approve uh, the um, recommendation. And my my uh, desire would be to. Um, incorporate the dedication of the Grove with the centennial mm -hmm. um, celebration. And then uh, at the uh, Memorial Day service in, in May, that would be the time to to bring attention to the, the men that have been honored by the temporary monuments and that would give, um, give us uh, a little bit more time. Uh, Michelle is still out of country and she won't be back till you know, the end of the month. So that's kind of where I'm going at this point. I think I saw her in Prague the other day. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> so I, I, I personally like the lo the idea of having it on the heroes all because it kind of tells the story right rather than looking here and then looking there. So I, I like the idea personally of having it on the one. Uh, the but buttonwood trees they are, aren't they? Green buttonwood, yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, that is opposed to the silver buttonwood, which is very pre prevalent throughout the city as well. Um, but the green buttonwood is in keeping with the vegetation that's currently on the periphery of the island along with the mangroves so it fits right in so would that be epoxidon or gone or how would that be installed wouldn't be actually on the tree uh, no I'm talking uh, about the yeah. actual oh, oh, onto, the, oh, uh, no. onto the uh, the larger plaque that would yes. go on the, the pedestal, typically we get them with, uh, there's four mounting screws and then it's also epoxy, so it, we want to make sure it doesn't come off. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Okay. And then uh, there are 10 of the uh, trees in the grove now. Correct. Uh, and um, I guess we, you would name five um, the, of those that we would honor. The, uh, um, we have two more that I didn't get to. <laughs> <laughs> or how, how many is there a limit? I mean, because... I, well, there I, would be, yeah. Uh, I mean, the point right now was the recommendation was it for a total of nine veterans. Okay, out of the nine veterans, mm -hmm. um, eight, I think, would be appropriate. The other one, I think, is should be recommended for a cenotaph, mm -hmm. and that was... Um, um, Mr. Reynolds, who is a, um, a Navy um, a medic that uh, died in service. Um, but in, in, in looking at the, um, the ordinance, of, is it an ordinance, uh, Stephanie? What, what's the specific, um, what's the what's Resolution it number 2015-23. Okay, Look, looking at the resolution, um, my recommendation there would be to incorporate a paragraph that said that um, the um, um, service members uh, would be recommended for um, uh, temporary markers by the Gold Star um, Moms um, Association uh, and then uh, proceed to the uh, Memorial Island Committee for affirmation and then approval by the City Council so that they're the uh, initiating body and that the um, that the markers, uh, the temporary markers, would be the the grove that's there. Mm -hmm. At some point, if they want to come back later and expand that or whatever, that's at your discretion. Mm -hmm. But my thinking it right now is to limit it at the ten that are there, mm -hmm. and that way they have the opportunity to to. Uh, if, have a, a list of people and if they want to have a family uh, recognized then they can say okay you're next in line and, and, and your opportunity to be available. Wouldn't it go through from Gold Star Wives up to the Veterans Council and then from the Veterans Council to us? Say again? 
Isn't the, the the procedures for that through the veteran? Everything goes through the Veterans Council. So the gold star. There, there's there's a sign off on that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're one. When they basically it'd be initiated by the gold star moms, comes to you and it does the normal route forward from there. I'm embarrassed I haven't read right. it in, in a little while, but we initially, they would have had to enter the service uh, through in, uh, from uh, Vero, or Indian River County and died in combat and then be honored there. So uh, they no longer have to die in combat. They could die in the service anywhere. But do they still have to to be, uh, for Cenotas now I'm talking, do they still have to have... Oh, we, we are not changing the, 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 the fundamental antenna right. island remains fixed. Yes, sir. Okay, uh -huh. that does not change. All that we are doing with the Gold Star Grove uh -huh. is providing another opportunity, uh, an opportunity for temporary markers for the Gold Star moms. Sure. And Gold Star is a worthy thing. Uh, and then by temporary, what? Uh, um, the, the, the limiting factor will be the, the wood um, pedestal that they're on as that atrophies or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Don and, 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 and public service will come to me and come to y'all and say, hey, mm -hmm. this is not up to par. And then at that time, the plaque would be uh, returned to the Gold Star Mothers and asked, you know, they would then make disposition of it, either give it to the family or or if there's no other request for mm -hmm. tribute, they could come back and say, hey, could we have it extended? And an example of those type of uh, temporary plaques are like at the trees out there and, um, and actually on a small I, circle. I, there, there's I, one correct. Small and I think for, I just for us out there. I've got a, I thought I had a picture of one, maybe not. But it is, if you go in front of the island Mm -hmm. And you look at the circle, the small circle, there's a wooden one right mm -hmm. there. So it just looks like a four by four or something <clears throat> at an angle and, and with it. Right. Four I four think that Don they eight by eight. Eight by eight. No. Okay. Yeah. And the they board. etch it into the into the wood and, and yeah. it looks very yeah, nice. nice. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> but it wouldn't be a, a cement or any it's just a that's No, there are, it's a pressure treated mm -hmm. post. Eight by eight is my recollection. Mm -hmm. And that way the, the five by seven fits in there pretty easily and they mm -hmm do route out a spot for the uh, plaque to be you know flush mounted yes sir okay um, and then the the, the the final two if that's okay John may I uh, yes sir uh, please uh, identify them it was private first class Sufrain United States Army he was a uh, casualty in Afghanistan and the 14th of June 2011 and, and then the last one was Petty Officer Third Class, Youngblood, and I think you know that family. The, uh, his, his wife is, is here, and, and, and he was killed in Iraq on 21st of July, 2005. Okay, so you can see, and you know, as as you, you know, if you take notes or look at the um, minutes, um, you can go online and and do a um, a search for these and just simply put in their name and United States Navy or Air Force or Marines, and uh, typically the um, uh, the military site will come up and give you the um, the rest of the uh, specifics of the nature of the of the casualty. Okay, um, I think we've talked about the, the, the two plaques, the, the, the temporary plaques, um, and the, the cost, I said, um, $2,200 if we don't want to do the separate cement pedestal. I think that would cover it. Just for clarification on the $2,200, um, Tony, uh, you're saying that you're asking the city, or are you asking out of our funds? <laughs> Out of the Memorial Island. Oh, uh, are you? Are you asking? Yeah, no, and, and I said the city, and it would be. No, no, it normally comes from Memorial Island, right? Correct. Yeah, Memorial. Okay, so Island. you're out of the Memorial Island. Fund. Yeah. Okay. Do we have any idea what are the balances in the account? Just over twelve thousand. Done. Sir, you, you said two plaques. It, it's, uh, <coughs> did you say? Yeah, two? The, the, you have the the large one, mm -hmm. and then the little ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Remember the big ones? Yeah. They wanted to do this for the 12, just one, 12. Just one of those, right? Oh, yeah. No, no. That is the one for uh -huh. the Heroes All pedestal, cement right. pedestal. And then, and then a half a dozen. And, the, and then the, yeah, the small ones are for the temporary ones, and um, that's how that works. And that's included in the 2200 the smaller ones? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you've got the cost for the plaque. You've got the cost for um, big plaque. Mm -hmm. Then it would be um, nine little plaques at this right. time. And then the... Um, Wood base for the uh, for the small plaques. Okay. 
Well, I think this certainly ties in with the purpose is to honor those that died in the service of our country and then and then also those families who have, like I said earlier, have sacrificed more than most of us, being the families of those fallen soldiers and Marines and sailor and airmen. So. And, and we're really lucky because these Gold Star Mothers do do a lot of stuff in our, in our community and I know that all of us know that, especially we're familiar with Michelle Dale and obviously with Ferguson and um, we they do some good yeah. stuff in the community yeah. also. Yeah. I mean, you, you can, if you look at the front page of the paper today, you know, you see a, a you know, a family that's lost their their son, uh, a sailor, as a result of a, a training uh, injury uh, with the uh, um, uh, Navy aircraft, and we all know, you know, um, when you <laughs> <It's dangerous. laughs> I could, I, if if you look in the, if you look on the island. Um, uh, you have a, um, a ranger, um, I believe he was a NCO, that uh, took a fatal uh, gunshot wound to his chest in training at Graffenbeer and was killed. Um, he, and he's buried out at uh, uh, Crestland uh, Cemetery. Um, so, you know, the... Um, you know, you, you can you can lose your life without going into combat very easily. So. I think most of us went down to the Gold Star Monument dedication in Port St. Lucie, and and other communities are honoring honoring Gold Star families with with in this case a fairly large monument. So um, I think this fits, ties in with the the other monuments and our intent to honor those that died in the service of the country and now the families. So I don't think as the chair I can't really make a motion, can I? I can entertain a motion <laughs> that we, uh, and I, I don't know, does it need to be, the wording need to be more specific on yes. what we're approving? I, I would recommend that one of you recommend a motion to approve to move to the city council to expend 2200 towards the gold star family's monument i'll make that motion <laughs> second just the way she said it <laughs> yeah. so we get it right <laughs> easy way out <laughs> I would say 25. I would say 25, Just, yeah, and the motion to make it 25 to make sure that yeah. there's... Not to exceed. Not to exceed. <coughs> okay, so uh, with that adjustment to the minute, uh, to the uh, motion is... Yes. So all in favor, say aye. Uh, aye. And of course, none opposed. Okay. Then the other recommendation that I would uh, suggest to you um, is that um, that um, Stephanie, uh, your counsel, uh, uh, draft a uh, amendment to the uh, current ordinance that stipulates the procedures for recommendation and approval of the temporary monuments mm -hmm. and then she can bring that back to you for mm -hmm. approval um, at the next uh, Memorial Island meeting. Okay. Well, is that all right, Stephanie? And yes. And I think uh, maybe while we're at it, when we read that, I, I, I don't know if all, if our newest members that, uh, Sylvester, that's not here are familiar with the or ordinance or not ordinance. It's, it, it's a, a resolution. Resolution. Um, because like I was still remembering the original, which I, I helped work on, what, a 20 years, some odd years ago, but, uh, oh, sure. but what is the current one so that we... Um, maybe at the same time when we read that, we'll kind of go over the rest of it with everyone. Absolutely, and I, I'll bring back the revised resolution for your consideration. Okay. And in that resolution, you will see the, the rest of the language which delineates. And you can go through it at that point and see if there are other changes that perhaps okay. need to be made. Now, the only other thing that comes to mind um, with the recommendation for approval for the money for the uh, um, plaques and, 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 the, and the grove plaque, um, I would uh, recommend, I would request you um, um, approve and I, we will provide the, um, the documentation for the, uh, uh, for the recommended temporary plaques that, that I covered the men that were um, lost. So um, that's the other portion of it is that that would have to be approved from y'all, my understanding. Should we, uh, should we have a, 
a total not like there's 10 buttonwoods would we want to have I mean would you have eventually hopefully we wouldn't have that many but I mean would we have five or six around every buttonwood where we have 60 I mean that's an exaggeration of course but I'm, uh, I'm, I'm you know, just guess, my, my thought mm -hmm. quite simply was that you would have one okay one at each tree at each, and then right. it would right. cycle out and another would be honored and Correct. so that's probably a good idea what are the life cycles of those trees Oh, the buttonwoods? Yeah. The buttonwoods are going to last. Yeah. I mean, it, what's going to, what will be the, the temporary ones will be the, 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 the wood uh, pedestal for the monument. Uh, yeah, even okay. pressure tree is not going to last forever. No. Okay. Okay. So, um, can you, would you entertain <laughs> a motion to approve the recommended uh, service members for their temporary um, um, Markers. I think we need to go back to the location first. We never approved where we decided where we're going to put it. The uh, the There's temporary no, ones would go. No, I mean the the full size ones. We can put it on the front of the. Oh, uh, oh I see. Yeah, I'd express my opinion, but I don't know if we approved. Right, we did where, not where to do it. So, <coughs> so, so if, um, you have a. I'd make a motion that we put it on the front of the heroes all. And I'll second that. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, correct. correct. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think that's a great place for it, like you said. Mm -hmm. So you're not looking from side to side. Mm -hmm. You can walk right up and look at one and, and see both of them as long Compliments as they're comfortable in size. Yeah. 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 I think I'll second that. Yeah. 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 So then. Is that, is that a motion or a that, second? That was a motion. That was the discussion. <laughs> aye, aye. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, right. and I think that's good because they're reading and, you know, thinking of their sacrifice and then the sacrifice of the families. It just kind of follows right, right down, I think. And, and in keeping with that, would you uh, want to specify that you concur with the temporary um, <laughs> um, monuments to be placed, one per mm -hmm. uh, buttonwood tree in tribute to the fall? Now, would that tie in with us writing the uh, correct uh, adding wording in the resolution, and then we would approve it at that time? Or I'll we... I'll be making changes to this resolution in a, a more broad format, mm -hmm. not specifically just for your groves, this this grove in particular, but just in general. That way, I'm not eliminating. Well, well, actually, I, I don't know that we're approving temporary monuments around the island. We're approving in the the uh, grove, the Gold Star Families Grove. There can be temporary uh, plaques at the buttonwood trees, but I don't think we're discussing or approving temporary plaques around the island elsewhere at this stage of the game, unless somebody wants to discuss uh, I agree that. with you, yeah. So I this agree. is uh, yeah. uh, temporary plaques at the Grove Star, in the Grove Star Grove. I don't know if I got that wording exactly right. Gold Star Family Grove. <laughs> Hard to say it fast. <laughs> I have these Invisaligns in. <laughs> <laughs> um, so is that right, sir? Is that so? Correct. Uh, I mean, yeah. And basically, is, that, uh, that gives gives this the direction for the for us, the mm -hmm. city, to move forward to uh, place the uh, temporary markers uh, when mm -hmm. we have those fabricated. But can we make the motion before the ordinance or the resolution is amended? There are two parts to this, and you've you've given pretty clear direction on your recommendation on the Grove itself, and I believe you've given clear recommendation on how you would like me to rewrite and bring back the resolution to you. Mm -hmm. So this is working in in two paths, and I understand the direction that you've given me. That's right. But can we approve the, the temporary plaques for these uh, six people that the Colonel mentioned, or seven people that the Colonel mentioned? Can we approve those without having that part in the resolution? Yes, but the City Council will... Of course, yeah. Right, you'll be making the recommendation to the City Council to approve, and the City Council will be approving. Okay. Yeah, we're only an advisory yeah. group. I realize that, but right. I, I just want to make sure we're uh, doing the right thing. So, then uh, I'd make the motion that we approve the temporary plaques on the island with further uh, amendment to the resolution from Stephanie. Yeah. We'll second. second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Yeah. That, no, uh, the only thing that not comes to my mind from y'all <laughs> is there something that we're not thinking to cover? I don't think so. From the, from from. Was your? Um... 
I guess these temporary ones are a lot easier to make than that bronze too. It can be yeah, done in exactly. a few days probably compared to the bronze takes a couple months. So. The bronze typically four to six weeks is kind of average. So um, right. mm -hmm. yeah, uh, the, and I'm not sure what material you were going to use for the smaller plaques, but um, if it if it's bronze, it's four to six weeks. If it's an aluminum plate or something like that, I, I think those are fairly oh, easy to. Nanette received the uh, estimate based on the, the small bronze plaques. And Don, has he given us the discount like he did in years past? Also, do you? I, I'm not seen? sure. I haven't seen. Uh, you know, I okay. briefly saw them, but typically they give us 10 percent off. But okay. I, uh, but I'm not sure. I, I don't have the quote in okay. front of me. But they've been very good to us in the past. It's the same company we've used for the other. Uh, Roger bronze. that. But the, um, just to clarify on the green button woods, there's 10 trees out there. So at each tree, you, uh, you would want a, a temporary plaque. Because uh, I think you had said something about just six or eight or whatever um, Colonel Young had, had mentioned, but you want one at each tree. Well, if a family comes forward and asks for it or we find somebody in the community, but right now I think the Colonel has only pr suggested seven, if I wrote those right, or is there? Uh, we, <laughs> Michelle identified nine individuals. Out of the nine individuals, one I think will not be included. So right now we've got eight individuals for mm -hmm. 10 trees and 10 opportunities for recognition. And we we're approved for one at each month. If, yeah. if two more come up, that the yeah, no, families they, they were of the resolution, just to uh -huh. make that clear, they're not six or eight, but one at each tree. Yes, sir. Okay. That's, right. Sorry if I got this kind of confused. <laughs> just for the ordinance <laughs> resolution. So we're up to ten. We can have up to ten. Right. Okay. Then and, and 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 I'm glad that Rob's here because just like for the cenotaphs, you know, if they go to the city website and they look Memorial Island, they're going to call him, and he needs to be. You know, that whole, um, uh, what do you want to call it, the methodology for that is under his purview. So uh, as if there's some other approach or whatever we need to do, let me know. Let us know. Okay. Good. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Tony. Let's see, um, if there's, I think we, we're called for this, we, we have another meeting soon, but, but since the, the, um, there's a, an event tomorrow on Memorial Island, a, a memorial service for uh, Barbara Sullivan, it was requested by uh, Daryl Lohr, the our sheriff. So at 8.30 till 10, they're estimating about 40 people out there to honor uh, a, a death memorial for, uh, for Barbara Sullivan, just since it's tomorrow before our next, uh, our next meeting and until early next month. And there's quite a bit, I guess, coming up next next month. Um, the anniversary of World War II, the end of Vietnam War, and POW MIA in September. So we'll have quite a few things to talk about in the, at the September meeting. So. Uh, may I approach the bench? <laughs> um, um, would would I could I re, um, ask for your um, endorsement to um, have the POWMIA flag flown on the 21st of September, which is the anniversary of National POWMIA Day? If we're a, if the city's able to do it, I don't know if, if we've done that in the past. Is it the 15th or the 21st? It's the it's the 21st, I think. Oh, well, whatever you would know yeah. better than I. Yeah. Well, um, I certainly think the POWMIA flag should fly on PO, on on. Uh, POWMIA day, if not actually throughout the year, but do we need to, I think, can, can we just run it up there or do we need to have a, we don't need to make a motion for that, but. want us to do it, we'll do it. I think we should, yes, yes. sir, and, and no yeah, one objects that, to that, I don't yeah. think. No, so. that should be flown that day. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think it requires taking the big holiday flag down and having the smaller flag so they both That's fit. correct. We use the half-staff flag with uh -huh. the POW flag and, and uh, run those up together. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, that's what we've done in the past. All right. Thank yep. you. That would be appropriate. All right. Is there anything else for this special call meeting? So, well, if, if there's um, nothing else, well, there's some things we'll talk about at the next meeting, but thanks so much. So we're adjourned. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.